What's going on guys, The Inhuman Beatdown, I'm back with more Fate Stay Night. Last time, Ren was contemplating certain things about the Holy Grail War, a battle between masters, or Megasus, but a master is not complete without a servant, so she went to summon a servant. And then her living room was destroyed and there's a man sitting in there. Apparently cockily. Without a doubt, that is the that is the cause of the of this mess. But there's one thing more important than that: the wall clock is still ticking away time, having escaped destruction. That reminds me. Yes, that's right. Come to think of it, every clock in my house was an hour early today for some reason. In other words, it's one in the morning right now. Huh. Isn't that funny? She thought it was two where her peak of her power would be accessible. She was wrong. There's actually one more hour until my magical energy is at its peak. I did it again! I can do most things just like everyone else, but I have one hereditary, hereditary curse. That is to make the biggest mistakes at the most important times. Well, what's done is done. I should reflect on my actions. I'm mad at my own stupidity. Still irritated, I glare at the man sitting there like he's important. So, who are you? Those are your first words? Well, I guess I've been called to a terrible master. The man in red gives an exaggerated shrug. Maybe I'm the most unlucky of all, he adds. I do declare. <laughs> this guy has a twisted personality. But this would be the servant. Since they call it a familiar, I thought it was something shapeless. But this is human-like. No, that's wrong. Just standing here, I can tell that this thing has outrageous amounts of magical energy. Don't be fooled by its appearance. This is certainly an existence far beyond human, a ghost that has reached the level of spirits as a human. I can't be overwhelmed forever. That thing is mine. So I'll have to change my thinking from now on. Just to check, but you are my servant, right? That's what I'd like to ask. Are you my master? This is the first time I've been summoned so roughly. So to be honest, I still can't grasp the situation. This is the first time for me as well. I'll have to refuse that kind of a question. I see. But when I was summoned, you were not in front of me. Explain to me what's going on. Really? Don't joke around and tell me you're like a newborn chick who can only determine your master when you open your eyes. The unknown servant frowns. It's a rather vague response and I cannot tell if he's angry at my compliment or impressed at how correct I am. Well, anyway, what I'm asking is you're my servant and not anyone else's, right? Until we clarify this, I have no obligation to answer any other questions. <laughs> That's what you say after failing your summoning? In this case, I think there are other things you should say. There's nothing else. We have to clear clearly determine who's the master first. They get along so wonderfully. The servant raises his brow. Perhaps because it was an imperfect summoning, this guy isn't even trying to hide his dissatisfaction with me. Hmm. So we have to define who's master, huh? Your actions are full of mistakes. But it seems your mouth is rather better. Better? I said batter. <laughs> your mouth is rather batter. Ren is secretly a cake. <laughs> yes, I certainly agree with that opinion. Unless we make it clear who the stronger, who is the stronger and who the weaker, it'll be hard to handle each other. The servant looks at me meaningfully as he lays on the rubble. 
Who's the weaker? Yeah, I am a servant, so I'll accept this master-servant relationship. But that's only according to the contract, right? Who's superior and if the other is worthy to fight alongside with? That's a different story. Well, are you a Magus worthy to be my master, young lady? Oh my god, it's been so long since I've had to do Archer's voice. Oh, I guess I ruined it already. Whatever. Me, Archer. I won't reveal him on the side until we actually get properly introduced to him, but... Whatever. If you've seen my Fate Extra playthrough, you've seen this guy. <laughs> the Servant grins. <clears throat> he smashes my house and that attitude like he's king makes me angry enough, but now he asks me if I'm worthy to be a master. I'm not asking for your opinions. All I'm asking is if you are my servant or not. I glare at him. I will not lose to someone who looks down on me this frankly. <laughs> I see, I see. So you're saying such an obvious question isn't even worth answering. How courageous. Your spirit is that of a splendid master. But... I said, don't get the order wrong. It's the duty of the summoner to confirm first. Now answer me. You are my servant, right? I step forward, ready to attack, depending on his answer. Jeez. You are a stubborn young lady. We're not getting anywhere this way. I guess it can't be helped. Let's say I am your servant. In that case, would you be my master? Just hypothetically. Uh, of course! If you are my servant summoned by me, who else but me would be your master? That is actually a very... solid question. I somehow cool my boiling head and glare at this rude guy. Oh. Oh. I see. Well, let's suppose that's true. Then where's the proof that you are my master? The servant talks nonsense, grinning. He must think I'll panic about this proof of master thing. Here, this is the proof that I'm your master, right? Yay, shiny. I show him the command spell on the back of my right hand. Heh. <laughs> Don't think I don't know anything. My father talked a lot about masters, so I know about the command spell. Are you satisfied? Are you still going to complain? I thrust before him the proof that I'm a master. The servant in the rubble looks confused then. Man, are you serious, young lady? His face clouds with discontent. Well, what do you mean? I am serious. I mean that way of thinking. So you're a master if you have a command spell. A command spell is only a tool that governs the servant. Jeez. You act like a master just because of that? What I wanted to see was, are you worthy for me to pledge my loyalty to? Th that's true, but you'd normally think of the command spell when talking about the proof that one's a master. So what, if I'm not fit to be a master, then... I'd like that, but no go. Since you have the command spell, it seems you are my summoner. It's unbelievable, but it seems you really are my master. He gives an exaggerated shrug of his shoulders. This is bad. My boiling point is so low it seems I won't be able to cool down in time. I'm not happy, but I'll accept it. You're my master for now, but I have conditions as well. 
From now on, I will ignore your opinions. I will decide how to fight, and you will follow my plans. Wow, he's a dick. This is the best I'll compromise on. You don't mind that, right, young lady? <laughs> uh, I think this is it, father. I'm almost at my limit. I see. You accept unhappily, but what do you mean about ignoring my opinions? You're my servant, right? I ask him in a trembling voice, just in case. There's the issue of the command spell, too, so this is my last warning. The biggest compromise I can make. And to that... Yeah. In name only. So formally, I'll obey you. But I'm the one doing the fighting. You can hide in the basement here and stay there until the Holy Grail War ends. That way, even an inexperienced person like you should make it out alive. God, he sounds like he's talking to my protagonist from Fate Extra. He tells me he has no hope for me with eyes full of disdain. Are you angry? No. I will respect your position, of course. I am called to help my master win, after all. My victory is yours, and I shall give you everything that I earn in this fight. You shouldn't have any complaints about that, right? I... You won't be able to use the command spell anyway. Well, you can leave the rest to me. You just worry about your own safety. <laughs> I'm pissed! Fine, if you say that, I'll use it! Anfang? There's no holding back now. I've no sympathy for a twisted guy like him. What? You're not. Exactly what you're thinking, you rude scum. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna let her take care of that. I ain't trying to pronounce that shit. <laughs> oh good, it's translated. I announce to the command spell, by the order of the Holy Grail, give the... Give the law of obedience to this one, my servant. <laughs> you idiot. What are you, insane master? Who would use the command spell for something like this? Shut up! Look, you're my servant. You have to obey every single one of my orders, okay? What? The symbol of my right hand throbs. The three command spells. The essence of the Holy Grail War. The three claims to the servant's unconditional obedience is now used. Are you not even thinking? Using the command spell for such a general thing? Huh? It's too late now. First of all, I wasn't expecting this either. I hate myself so much I want to die. But to be honest, he is kind of an asshole. <laughs> To go ahead and use the important command spell for something like this. Well, now that that's all, so... <laughs> leaving the ruined living room behind, we move to my room. In front of me is the servant who should be absolutely obedient from my command spell. It's almost like she's saying that to someone and then looking over at him in the corner while saying that. He's there, but... I see. I understand your personality now, Master. How exactly is this absolutely obedient? Just to make sure, do you understand how important the command spell is, Master? Uh, I know! It's the right to give your servant three orders, right? What about it? A little bit more than that. Jeez. Look, the command spell forces the servant to act accordingly to in order. It doesn't merely stop their actions, it strengthens, strengthens their actions as well. 
For example, I can't instantly teleport to somewhere far away. But if you command me to go using your command spell, then assuming we have enough magical energy, such things become possible. This is what it's meant by unconditional obedience. It is the three crystallizations of a great magic that allows a servant to surpass limits on their ability even they can control. Well, only two now. I know that! It's fine, we still have two, and that order I give, gave you isn't useless either. Man, this was certainly a miscalculation on my part. The command spell works poorly on broad orders. For broad and long-lasting orders like protect me through this or win this battle, the power of the command spell weakens. And the force will last a long time, but since the associated pain is weak, some servants will be able to disobey. In contrast, a single simple order like deliver the next blow with all your power, or don't break that glass, is absolute, and even the most powerful servants will find it hard to disobey. So I think you can guess what I'd like to say next, Master. I get the idea. So you're saying a broad, long-lasting order is meaningless, right? If the effect is weak, servants can act against it. It's better to make a single, absolute order than to give weak ones, right? Right. Basically, the command spell is a way to bring about miracles beyond our abilities. Why is everything associated with this war about miracles? <laughs> Holy Grail grants miracles! The command spell grants miracles! Stupidly using it for orders that can be achieved by other means is unforgivable. The command spell you just used is exactly that. Whether or not I'll obey you is something that we could have solved by discussion. Even with the command, something like obey my every ordinary order completely is beyond even a hundred command spells. Comforting! But now she wasted it. Uh, so the command spell I just used was meaningless? Normally, the answer would be yes. But it seems that your abilities as a magus are on a completely different level. Don't know if that's a good thing or not. And we'll find out next time. So until then, I'll catch you all later. Asta. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Fate Stay Night. If you've liked this episode, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. And to stay up to date with all my latest content, please hit the subscribe button. Now it's time to go out into this mysterious world, craft our magic, and summon our servant, and prepare for the oncoming war. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta.